everybody. Hello. Um, hello over there. Yeah, hello over there. <laughs> uh, some more cute pictures being shown around town. These are actually from Cedarburg. Um, Tracy Hallie Barton of Cedarburg uh, went out with her kids, and she was doing these cute little signs on the sidewalk for her neighbors, which was super cute, uh, with her daughter, Riley, and her son, Caden. There we go. Um, fun art for neighbors that they were doing. They wanted to do, how cute is this? Stay strong, just like your Wi-Fi. <laughs> cute ideas. I whispered to my Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, the dogs have never been happier. <laughs> how cute is that? Yeah, that is one thing I'll say, is that dogs are getting walked. Yeah. I see it all over my neighborhood. They're getting walked like they've never been walked before. They're so happy. I've got this cute picture, though. Um, this, it's this tried and true recipe. So I want you to look at that. This is um, Addie and Ainsley for my friends Elizabeth. And here's the deal. Um, they made their own chalk paint. So oh, that's, that's the recipe. Cool. It's two thirds cup water, one half cup cornstarch and food coloring. And then you paint with it and it becomes chalk. That's cool. So if you don't have sidewalk chalk and you can't get it somewhere or you don't have the time to order it, you can make it at home. And look how cute that is. They're twins. Very, very cool. They're having a blast cool. with it. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And this is all, I love all this sidewalk chalk and the walking the dog because the you signs. should get outside. Yeah. Um, the experts are recommending it. So I know that the governor, you know, things were enacted today, the stay yes. at home order at 8 a.m. today, and I noticed how quiet my neighborhood yes. was. But the experts are saying, and these are from the, 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 the main people um, at the Health Epidemiology Center at George Mason University, but they're saying get outside for fresh air. It's good for yeah. you. So whether, and, and this is if you're not having any symptoms or you right. don't think you're sick, but sit outside on the porch, yeah. spend some time with the pooch, go for a run even. Um, go to and, the lake if you're in Milwaukee or close to the lake area. And they're now using the, the term physical distancing mm -hmm. instead of social distancing. And right, it has to do with the connotation right, involved with it. Right, there's not a whole lot of social things going on. Yes, exactly. Not obviously washing your hands. Yes. Um, <laughs> there's this new, i got to tell you about this app. There's this new online calculator. Okay. It tells you how much toilet paper you're going to need. <laughs> so the app is called Got Paper with the question okay. mark. Yeah, and it tells you, asks you all these questions. Are about, you putting in what you're eating? <laughs> you're not putting in what you're eating. <laughs> But you're talking about your patterns, okay. if you know what I mean. Okay. And then it does an estimate for you. Does it say how much more women need than men? Does <laughs> no. it compare genders? No, but I have heard people talking about um, five squares. Is that enough uh -huh. for the average just trip to the bathroom? Yeah. So it's just funny. So you can check that out if you want. So Ration it out. Yeah, we got to keep a little levity mm -hmm. here because I know it's tough, everybody, inside yeah. today.